What up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk. Brand new year, brand new me. Isn't that how it goes? Isn't that how it goes? Let me tell you, this is how it goes. A brand new year, it's a brand new me. Look at me. Look at myself. I am disgusting. I am disgusted with myself. That's right. Not you, not you, but with myself. That's right, because when I look at the mirror, I'm just like, hmm, damn, like, what happened to me? Like, were we like this this year, last year? Are we going to continue to be like this this coming summer? Uh-uh, uh-uh, I won't let that happen. Uh-uh, I am not, I'll be Damn, if I go through another summer when I, the summertime comes and everybody's looking good, posting pictures, posting selfies of them in bikinis, of, be, of them without their shirts on, showing off their abs, showing off their muscles, and I am not looking good. And I continue to be that type of person that be like, I don't care. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm going to be me. Fuck what they think. They're going to accept me for the person that I am. That's right. And if they don't accept the person that I am, well, fuck them. I don't need them in my life. As for the other people, brand new year, brand new me. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to get myself pumped. I'm going to get that pre-workout going. I'm going to get those pre-meals going. I'm going to waste time out of my day, get those meals prepped. Make sure everything's prepped in my prep boxes. Got it going. Got the time set of what time I got to drink my water. I got to drink this much at this point. Some This sometimes. This in the morning. This in the afternoon. This in the evening. And I'm good. Yeah. I'm doing my thing. Now, you're not going to last. You're not going to last. I'm just saying. I don't believe in you. At least I'm telling you. I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you the truth. I don't believe in you. Not all of you. But most of you. Because most of you, I guess, are just full of it. Just like the people at the gym running right now. Oh, my God. Let me sign up at the gym right now. Because right now, if you put a dollar down, you only have to pay $10 a month, $20 a month, $20 and bring a friend, you know. But this is what really happens. The gyms get you to come down. Come to the gym. Sign up. It's only a dollar. And then the rest of the month, the rest of the year, you don't no commitments, no commitments. Don't worry about it. All you gotta do is pay ten dollar, ten dollar a month, twenty dollar a month. We'll put the machines, but you gotta do the work. Do you hear that? You gotta do the work. That's where everybody gets it wrong. Like, yeah, you can sign up for a gym, you can work out, you can work out at home, you can run, you can do all the push-ups, you can do all the sit-ups, you gotta run, but you got to do the work. You can get the pre- Workouts going, the pre-meals, you can go keto, keto, vegetarian, vegan, whatever you want to call it. You can do all that stuff, but you got to put in the work, just like you go to work every single day. Some of you guys can't even last a week. Some of you guys can't even make it for your schedule. Some guys, some of y'all work only part-time and still want to call off, still don't want to even work your whole shift, still be working a part-time job and be like, hmm. I'll just stand here and do nothing. Hmm. Maybe nobody will notice me. And then when somebody comes to you and talks to you, you're like, oh, shit, me? Oh, that's right. I do work here. Uh, how do I do my job again? I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Some of y'all people are ridiculous. You guys are crazy. You drive me crazy. A person who, you know, works hard is trying to do his job, trying to do right in the world, trying to bring some positivity. But then there's people out there in the world that we got to come across and we're just like, there's a phrase that came out in 2019 that I started saying. I'm surrounded by idiots. Idiots! I'm surrounded by idiots. But I mean that in a nice way. But sometimes I'm just like, God damn, this was an idiot. This was a fool. Like, is he really asking that question? I'm just like, hmm. Like, last year, for example, one day I was working with Miguel. And Miguel was like, Helping out a customer. And the customer was like, I need my backlights. You know, the ones I need to go in reverse. And the person was like, okay, so you need the, the reverse light. You know, when you're backing up. Oh, I'm sorry. I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Sometimes I fuck up things. Um, so the customer came in asking Miguel, hey, can I have the light that backs up? And Miguel was like, the reverse light? And the customer goes like, yeah, whatever it is. No, it's not whatever it is. That's what it is. It's a reverse light. You know, and then back to this gym thing, people who are running right now, 
Rushing, rushing, rushing. Because I've done this before. I'm, I'm going to put myself out there. Yes, I was one of those people. New year, new me. I tried it once. Because I wanted to see if I can do it. And I am here. And I got proof. I did go to the gym five times out of seven for a whole year. I did it. And I was able to do it. You know, and I was going to do it again, but things changed. I had a different job. My schedule was different. My life was bouncing around. So sometimes, sometimes life does get complicated. So I'm getting back into it this year. I'm getting back into it. So, you know, don't hate on me. You know, I'm there. I'm putting myself out there. At least I am not afraid to admit it, you know, but there's a lot of people right now. Right now, I haven't even thought about going to the gym. I don't even want to see a gym because I already know everybody who's, New me, new year, I'm going to get in shape, get ready for summer, or at the gym. So every single time this happens, for the people who actually really want to work out and do something with their lives, you know, you get there and you got the people who are hogging on the machines, they don't, they don't even know how to use them. Or sometimes they bring their friend and they're just chit-chatting, they're just talking. I'm like, God damn, can you please move so I can use the machine? The thing that makes the gym even worse are the people that can't even get the wipes, the rags to wipe off their own sweat. I'm all, is this how you live at home? You are a pig. You are a pig. And guess what? If you are one of those people, you are not invited to my house because I don't want to pick up your mess. You know, you're not a dog. You're not a baby. You can pick up after yourself. And I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen. You know, the other thing that sucks about the gym are the people that are doing this. They're sitting in the machine and they're texting. They're on their phone. Like, what the hell? Go sit your ass at home. Go sit at the couch. There's a bed there. There's somewhere that you can sit down. You know? I'm just saying. I'm expressing myself. I'm pouring myself out there. Like, people, if you can relate to what I'm saying right now, the topics that I'm talking about, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. I am not going to be saying this every single video. If you guys don't want to hear it and you guys are tired of hearing me saying the same thing over and over, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel so I don't have to say it. I'm just saying, man. We are on the same page. I want to be here with you. You see me, I see you, you know. I live the things that you live, you know. And then you try going on the mountain, right? Let's say you're a person that likes to hike. You know, the weather you know, we have to deal with the weather. Sometimes it rains. Sometimes it's cold. Sometimes it's too hot. It's like, God damn. What ends up happening? We end up getting sick because we're trying to risk ourselves out there. Sometimes we're running. We're jogging. And then the sidewalk. You know how it goes like dip, dip, dips? Or like maybe there's like a step that causes you to trip because there's a rock. Or there's people walking with their dog. Or you have the people that are too slow or stink. Like, sometimes I got hiking and you can smell the person way over there. I'm like, God damn, this bro, this female need a shower. You know, sometimes, like, when people come up to you and they start talking to you, like, uh, and their breath stinks. It's like, damn, back up. Here's the gum. Here's the Tic Tac, bro. Here's the Tic Tac. Put that. Oh, my God. And no offense. I'm not trying to be racist, but it always happens to be the Asian people. I'm just saying, like, I'll be, look I'll be helping them out. I'm looking at their, t their teeth when they're talking. Like, and I'm just like. God damn, that fool needs some work. And he needs some gum. And he needs a tic tac. You need to brush your teeth. You look, you, have, you look like you haven't brushed your teeth in 2002. Maybe in the 90s. God damn. Somebody get this guy a toothbrush. How many, how is it possible that this guy has lived so many Christmas, so many birthdays, and nobody gave him a toothbrush with toothpaste? I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there. You know? So, new year, new me. Are you one of those people? Or are you not one of those people? Are you one of those people working out, taking pictures? And that's another thing, you know? If you're fit, you know, I did this last year, you know? I did this last year and maybe the year prior. You know, I said, you know what? Instead of adding regular people on my social media, on my Facebook, Instagram, I'm gonna add models. I'm gonna add people who work out and actually look fit. Maybe I'll pick up some tips, you know? Maybe. I might see some of their workouts and it might get me motivated, right? No, what ends up happening is that they just post pictures and pictures of their bodies and their muscles. 
in without their shirts and their fellas, females, it's always their booties, ass and titties, ass and titties, ass and titties, ass and titties. I'm just like, unfollow, 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 unfollow. Because after a while, it's like, okay, we get it. You're fit. Like, we get it, you know? I'd rather get some, I'd rather follow or add people that are going to motivate me. You know, someone that can relate to what I'm talking about. Someone like Ricky and his Ricky ties. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new Ricky talk. And I think you're doing the right thing by being on this channel and subscribing to Ricky's YouTube channel. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I think I said what I had to say. And thank you for tuning into this brand new year, brand new me video. Your boy Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, I'm not keeping you entertained, or not making you smile, your boy Ricky Rick ain't doing his job. And you already know your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, guys. Love you. Peace. We out this bitch.